really fast before the video starts, I did just want to say a quick thank you. I noticed recently that I hit 100 subscribers, and I know that in the grand scheme of YouTube, that's really a small number, but to me, the fact that even 100 people want to hear me talk on camera about dolls is incredible and mind-boggling. So even though, you know, there's people with hundreds of thousands and millions of subscribers, 100 is a big deal to me. So I just wanted to say thank you. I won't take up too much of your time, but please know that I do appreciate the support and I really hope you enjoy this video. Thanks guys. Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back. I know that I always say I am excited and I always am excited, but today I'm really, really excited to be here with you. Mostly because I have an unopened package here, so I can't contain myself. <laughs> Obviously, if you've seen my videos, you know that usually I am talking about dolls that I have already at least seen. But this has just come in the mail, and I am so beyond excited to be able to open this up with you guys. It is just a couple little things that I got off of eBay, kind of like a mini haul, so nothing too crazy. But it's got some nostalgia and some fun stuff in there for me, and I hope that you enjoy it as well. So. I literally can't wait any longer. I waited one day because I didn't have a chance to film yesterday when this came in and this box has been taunting me ever since then. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, get to ripping her open. Okay, so this is gonna be a lot of itty bitty pieces because the first thing is kind of a mismatched set of Polly Pockets. And I'm really, I'm so excited. I am kind of like in between a millennial and a Gen Z. So I was born in 1997. So I am technically a 90s baby, but also I can't remember the 90s whatsoever. I remember the early 2000s. So yeah, I'm kind of in that like, weird zone but for me i had Polly pocket growing up the fashion dolls not like the itty bitty tiny clamshell play sets but the Polly pocket fashion dolls so that's some of what i got here and i'm so excited so we'll put this to the side for a second just because that is the second surprise let's say it that way oh, spill them all out Wow, oh my god. The rubber clothes! I, I really hope that some of you guys are old enough watching this to, like, have these memories of these rubber clothes. I for sure shouldn't say this. I used to love chewing on these as a child. I know that that's not good. I know that it was a choking hazard. Like, I'm fully aware. If you happen to be a child watching this, don't do that. But when I was a kid, that was- it was just such a good feeling. I cannot be the only person who did that, so. Someone in the comments below, please validate me and tell me that I'm not crazy. <laughs> but okay, so with this random lot of Polly Pocket stuff, I know for sure I did some digging that this girl, I'll try to cover my face here, and then some of the like cowboy hat accessories, a little closer, they're really cute. Those are from a playset involving a horse. Makes sense. Same with the horse, the guy over here. I'm not 100% sure what this is to, but it does have a little thing on the side so that you can spin it. Clearly, I don't know what I'm talking about with most of this stuff. That's because I literally bought this set of random Polly Pockets for really three items. <laughs> here's one, and here's two. I hope that you can see these okay. I'm like trying to cover up my face. They're two itty bitty kitty cats. They came with this piece, which is cool, but most importantly this. It just looks like a ball. I know. I know. Unless some of you guys have had this specific set, you have no idea what I'm talking about. But, the cats have magnetic paws, so you can magnetize them onto the little ball, and it will roll and bobble around. And I mean, it mostly stays upright. <laughs> Clearly it's not a perfect- Oh no! 
but yeah, it's it's not like it's a perfect toy. Oh my god. I should not be getting all like emotional like this over a literal sparkly pink ball and a plastic cat. But guys, this is taking me so far back to my childhood. I have been searching for this exact Polly Pocket set for ages. Literally just because of this. Like I she came with a little cat trainer girl and like she's cute she's fine I will happily keep her and the rest of the mismatch Polly Pocket accessories that I got but I bought it I bought this lot specifically for this ball and these cats yes I'm crazy I don't know it just it was something that I really loved Look, they can swing ah I loved this as a child so now I'm just reliving that glory and it's it's still really good it's still really good the nostalgia high is like nothing else that you can find so yeah this is kind of all a bonus this is what i wanted i am very very happy to, with this i'm so glad that it all arrived intact and in one piece i have no idea where i have this third cat i have no idea what set that came with because it's not this one his legs don't bend the same way and they aren't magnetized, but it's all good. I'm not gonna say no to an extra cat. First item down, and I'm a really happy person. I hope that the next item is just as lovely as this is. In case you guys were curious about everything that I got in the Polly Pocket lot, I have got the trapeze, the two little stools, one's a normal one, and then one is a kind of circus style stool. The little thing with the balls that spin, the wobble ball, a horse saddle without a horse, a little display piece, I don't know, that has the picture of the horse on it. And then I have got two actual Polly Pocket dolls, a little flower-shaped doll stand in the corner there, three Polly Pocket cats with little cat outfits, then a total of one dress, one skirt, three shirts, a pair of pants, a sash, two hats, and four pairs of shoes. The three guys here are actually cat outfits, and then a whole pile of hangers, as well as three ribbons and one horse trophy. Okay, she's wrapped in tissue paper, and get that bag out of the way. She's wrapped in tissue paper, and I'm just gonna go ahead and unwrap her with you. I'm really excited about this. This feels, oh my God. Guys, I know I'm being dramatic, but there are literally tears in my eyes. Okay, sorry. I know you can't properly see what I'm even, I've even got here. Get out of there. So I bought this Jasmine doll from the same seller actually as had the Polly Pockets. I was very lucky to find two really awesome items from the same eBay person. So, so good. She looks incredible. Oh my gosh. So, I hope that it is picking up on camera. I hope that it is focusing properly. So this is obviously a Jasmine doll in her purple outfit, which I think is very interesting. I haven't seen really a lot of those. I did ask the doll subreddit, which is a lovely community. You guys should definitely go check it out if you're a Reddit fan. They're so friendly over there. And it seems like this is gonna be a Disney store Jasmine from the 90s. That's the best estimate I could get, and that was more than enough for me. But her clothing is such an interesting fabric. You definitely don't see them use this kind of thing anymore. The overskirt has got this iridescence to it, so it kind of shimmers between like a greenish color and then that purple in the light, and it's so pretty. And overall, her whole outfit is made of like a glittery fabric. But it's a different, like, kind of glitter, like, if you can see. The pants are this glitter and so is the top. That's kind of interwoven into the fabric instead of being something that's, like, glued on top of the fabric, if that makes any sense at all. It is very shiny, but it is also, to me, a little bit more subtle than what they do now. Um, or, you know, I could be crazy. Maybe it's just as out there. And if you guys watched my Disney collection video, you're gonna think I'm absolutely nuts for buying a doll whose entire outfit is made of glitter. What can I say? I'm inconsistent. <laughs> but I do think she is just 
a beautiful doll. Her headband is still intact with the gemstone. And her shoes are this lovely metallic high heel. Which is not necessarily accurate to, like, movie Jasmine. She did not wear high heels. But. And they still, I think they look pretty good. It's, I don't know. Even though I never had, never had this doll, it's giving me a lot of nostalgia. I will say, and I didn't know this going in, obviously, she isn't articulated at the elbows, just at the shoulder here. And she does have, like, the bend and snap knee, so they can snap to a little bit of a bend. I wasn't expecting as much articulation with her. Like I said, she's a doll from the 90s. And I feel like the more articulated Disney dolls are relatively recent development. So I'm not surprised. It's okay. I'm gonna survive with it. She is my first Jasmine doll. So that's very, very exciting. I always kind of expected that my first Jasmine doll would be in her blue outfit. But, um, guess not. Here we are. <laughs> She did also come with this little lamp, genie lamp. So that was really cool to also have the accessory, even though obviously I bought her out of box. I think she's in really remarkable condition. She's got a couple of loose threads, but it's not anything bad at all. So for me, really a great find. I'm, I'm so happy, I'm so happy with her. I mean, I did almost cry when I unboxed her. So like, if that tells you anything. <laughs> But that is all that I have got for you guys today. Like I said, it was a pretty small haul. Very small. I mean, technically two items. But I go online and eBay window shop pretty frequently for dolls just to kind of see what's popping up. And when I saw these two, I absolutely had to get them and I thought I would share it with you. So let me know in the comments, did you feel any of the nostalgia that I did looking at those? Did you have Polly Pocket growing up? Do you remember the evolution of Disney dolls as time has passed? I can't believe that that doll is 20 years old. I'm, I'm also quite old. <laughs> At the very least, if you don't remember any of these, I hope that you enjoyed me making a fool of myself getting overly excited about this stuff. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye y'all.